So far our triggers have just printed out a statement of saying in the trigger, which is not very useful unless you're just seeing that the trigger exists. One of the functions that makes triggers useful is the update function, which allows you to examine a column and see if that column was touched by the insert, update, or delete. So I'm going to go ahead and alter trigger 1 and change it to look at the last name. If the command that fired the trigger is an insert, that will touch every column. And a delete will touch every column. But an update, updates are special. Updates can touch just certain columns. And the if update depends upon whether or not the update statement lists the column in the set clause, not whether or not the data is actually changed. So to test this out and prove it, if update is true, it will print out you modify the last name column. If update of last name is not true, it will print out the last name column is untouched. So if we update person ID's last name in the messages, you updated the last name column. If we only touch the first name, it goes ahead and prints out the expected last name column is untouched. So you can see we're slowly building up the capability to do some very cool things inside of triggers.